In the last video, we gave an example of if this is a golden rectangle with the dimensions of the golden ratio x to y, that means that if we stick a rectangle as x by x at the end and then rotate it, we get another golden rectangle, just a larger one, which means that x is to y as x plus y is to x. Now we want to find out what is this ratio. Well, we can make our rectangle as large or as small as we want. We could make it to the point where the height was 1, where y was 1. And that changes it so that our ratio is x over 1 equals x plus 1 over x. And we can cross multiply and get, let's see, people in the class don't seem all that comfortable with cross multiplying. That is, you multiply both sides by x and that cancels this one out, die, die. And so we're left with x squared equals x plus one, or x squared minus x minus one equals zero, which is solvable with the quadratic equation. The coefficient of x squared is one, the coefficient of the x is negative one, and the constant is negative one as well. So x is negative b, negative negative 1, plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared minus 4 times a times c, which is negative 1, all over 2 times a, which is 2. And so we get 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. Negative 4 times negative 1 is plus 4, all over 2 times 1 is 2 or 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. Now, 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 is, let's get out a calculator, uh, the square root of 5 plus 1 is something, divided by 2 is 1.618, approximately 1.618, and 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2 is square root of 5, make that negative, add 1, divided by 2, negative 0.618. Negative 0.618, clearly we don't want a negative number, and therefore the golden ratio is approximately, it's a little bit more, this is the golden ratio. If you have a relationship of that and, what is it? Let me pause this for one second. Okay, so I just checked uh, our pieces of paper that we use, eight and a half by 11, are not golden rectangles. It should be more like eight and a half, let's see, where's my calculator? Eight and a half, 8.5 times 1.618. It should be eight and a half by almost 14 inches. It's not. So our papers are not quite long enough. Darn it! That should be enough for this video.